3 d printing with minimal fuss. We're we gonna make some D D stuff or oh, what? You, you better believe we're making D and D stuff. Flashforge wants to help you guys get started with 3D printing, so they're going to give away an Adventurer 3. The link is in the top of the description. It's one of those giveaways where you guys can get extra entries for doing social stuff. So go ahead and click on the link in the top of the description, and best of luck. I'm just going to be <laughs> eyes in this video. This is a cluttered desk. Let's make it even more cluttered by printing everything. This is the Flashforge Adventurer 3. Yes, it is. So one of the things with like 3D printing is I don't like a lot of fuss, right? And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I'm more technically minded, whereas you're more like RPG tabletop minded. Sure. That's easily. I decided not to not to touch this thing and I wanted to see how he fared with this machine. So there was definitely a small learning curve at the beginning. And I, I got to say special thanks to our community member Snagglebug for the bard snagglebug yeah the bard himself. snagglebug himself actually like sitting down and typing out stuff for us because the first couple of printing attempts did not go as well as i wanted and he kind of taught me all the ropes and just like walked through the the program that we use uh to kind of help me get it all together and everything but i learned really quick but that being said it didn't take that long to learn and once i knew the basics of what i was going was going on it was really easy to just churn stuff out to start printing yeah there were like one or two mistakes that we were able to stop right in the beginning and yeah. realize like oh we need mm -hmm. to uh make sure that there's more supports yep like adding rafts and adding supports and everything to it mm -hmm. not something i would have just been like oh it didn't you know i would have known that off the top of my head but cyber demon one Cyber Demon 2. All we needed to do was add, an, add, add like a support. And yep. and then you can change the, the temperature at which the extrusion happens, right? Mm -hmm. So this thing will heat up to 200 degrees Celsius within 50 seconds. So it warms up really fast. It's, yep. also, it's also pretty quiet, 45 decibels. Mm -hmm. So you can use PLA, mm -hmm. ABS, Pearl, PLA color change, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use metal filled, wood filled, or high speed PLA. So yeah. mm -hmm. we're just using some regular PLA here. It came with some in the box, a little bit of red to get us started with. And then we ordered some more in the gray. We haven't gone through the red yet, though, so it's yeah, we've, printed a lot with we've this. We've printed a lot of things with just one spool. Like, a, one spool will get you really far. Yeah. Um, and the other thing that's really cool is it's got a built-in uh, HD camera, so you can do remote monitoring. Yeah. So you want to, like, go somewhere else and just watch and see how this is going. I mean, mm. a lot of times you're going to set this thing on and just leave for two hours or three hours and just let it do it. Just let it do its thing. You know, and, and sometimes mm. if you turn the speed down a little bit, it can improve the accuracy. So if you have the ability to like just print and leave it alone for a while, go out and have some food or like go home for the night, then that's yeah. probably going to be a good way to do it. Very often I would just come in in the morning and set something to print. And then by the time the afternoon rolled around, we were ready to futz around with things we've done and ready to go. Like even something like this only took three and a half hours to print. Yeah, the bat Battle is, Angel Alita. That's pretty awesome for only three hours. Like, I mean, to be fair, she's so thin that it's like yeah. not a lot of filament there. The Cyber, <laughs> the cyber Demon is a much chunkier model. He's, he's much more thick. Even though she's taller, which yeah. is... Definitely a really great 3D printer for if you're someone that's never done it before, mm -hmm. but wants something that's really easy to work with and learn with. This is really excellent for that yeah i like, mean you can obviously get stuff mm -hmm. that has like crazier features for a mm -hmm. much higher price mm -hmm. but in this price range you've got a 0.4 millimeter nozzle uh so that that gives you fine enough detail that like i mean you can see the print lines but with a quick sand you're not gonna mm -hmm. it's not that big of a deal 0.4 millimeters is yeah. pretty good in my opinion for for most purposes and if you put that on the shelf and paint it it'll look just fine yeah. unless you get right up close and like look then you can see the lines from the 3d printer and the plastic takes to paint really well like I, I've already tried painting some models and stuff like that too. And it, it I haven't had to do a lot of extra model prep to get it going, which is pretty nice. So as far as how much room you're going to need for this, it's 388 by 380 by 405 millimeters. And the build volume is 150 by 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 150. By 150. Yeah. Yeah. That's in a sphere. I tried to say everything yeah. in the entire <laughs> sphere. That's no, just a 150 cube, so mm -hmm. that's, that's what you're working with right there. Oh yeah, so uh, the flash print software is really nice and easy to work with. Mm -hmm. It does a lot of things for you, like uh, it, it auto put in supports and things like that. You can put an image into it, uh, you can take like an STL file or something like that, and you can get it all converted into a .gx file, which is what this needs to be able to read and print off of. Uh, but everything that you load up into it, it'll do a lot of the rendering for you. And it, do, it does a lot of the guesswork on things about and turning 
supports and rafts and things for it to be on. It just takes care of that for you. And even after you kind of have it set to auto put everything on there, you can go in after and like fine tune your supports in a little bit after that. Oh, this will mold into the hair too much and look ugly. I'm going to pull that support out and put something else in. Yeah, once you're done there, you can print straight to it with uh, just connectivity over Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Yep. It'll also do it over the cloud. So I can be at a coffee shop, like chilling and be like, hey, print. And it'll yep. start printing. And last but not least, if you want to just throw a bunch of stuff onto a USB stick, you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything will be ready for you when you get back. Yeah, we just got our, our Legion laptop hooked up to it. Yeah, just, just plug in the, yep. the Lenovo Legion laptop and, uh, and go crazy. So this is a uh, single nozzle extruder unit. Some of them have dual nozzles that will run two layers of plastic at the same time. This one is just a single one, again, why it's better for kind of introductory 3D printing stuff. Get it right here for three ninety three ninety nine, but I mean mm -hmm. the price may go up and down depending on when you watch this video. So yeah, even uh, Justin can do it. I mean, why, like, why can't you? Just you like know. messing around with it for a few minutes, and I was sitting over here the entire time, being like, you know, being like, figure it out, you'll you'll be fine. And then sure enough, you know, ten minutes later, it's mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, I got it figured out. And I was like, cool. I didn't have to do with any messing. I didn't have to, you know, futz around with anything. It mm -hmm. just was pretty easy to to work with. Um, and some of the, you know more advanced bigger more expensive units will require more fussing and that's something i didn't want to didn't want to have to deal with i just wanted it to mm -hmm. to work i want to print out our dnd figures i want to print out some nerdy stuff for the office and then maybe a couple of accessories to hang controllers on the wall and stuff just plastic yeah. whatever and it and it definitely even this program like lets you select like how much fill you want to have inside of the model and temperatures and everything it lets you do take care of all of that so you can find that really nice like i learned like oh actually if you get it up to like 215 degrees it actually goes a little bit better and things like that so learning how to play with like the right temperature and everything for the mo for the material that you're using is really important i gotta say i'm having a lot of fun yeah 3d like, printing i'm i'm really hooked yeah like this thing we're, i'm gonna come in one day, one day this is gonna be gone because you can't yep. just have to keep coming to the office to like pick up stuff he's printing yeah like, oh, i'm gonna print some more figurines <laughs> for D, D tomorrow and then like swing swing by the office and grab them and i'll come in and be like I thought there was something on that printer yesterday, but it's gone today. Yep. Hmm. Purposely making trips <laughs> across the city. Just to pick to stuff come up. pick stuff up because that, like, on the weekends when I'm like, oh, that should have been done overnight. I should go in this morning like, and check on it. Hmm. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you can print up an entire army for whatever RPG you're playing, you know, just yeah. shut the f So I kind of want to know what you guys would be printing on this. So if you have one of these, let us know in the comments what you're going to be printing. Yeah. Or if you have any cool places, you know, websites or anything to check out that for free printing stuff. A lot of things I've been doing have been from Thingiverse. Yeah, Thingiverse is cool. Um, but if you know of any other really cool websites that you want to mention in the comments stuff, please let us know because I want more stuff to print. <laughs> yeah, we'll check out the comments. And, uh, you know, while you guys are on the internet, head over to Epic Pants. You guys can't see my shirt, but it's so awesome. It's great. You should have one. It's better than being naked for most of you guys. I'm serious. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the comments.